All throughout naval history, there are tales of mysterious monsters and other such oddities reaching out from the watery abyss to claim ships and sailors alike. And naturally, these are a testament to the boredom and creative ingenuity of the sailor cast. One would also expect these stories to fall away into history the closer our species get to modernity. But they don't. In fact, Scottish engineers have recently discovered the remains of a World War I German submarine while laying an undersea power line. These are experts who believe that is none other than a UB-85, a German U-boat which the crew claimed was attacked and sunk by a sea monster. Welcome to Underwater Central, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sea monsters attacking boats. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 10, Needlefish Attack. What if I tell you to head to the sea and get you a nice dandy puncture in the neck by a raging swordfish? Well, you probably wouldn't enjoy that too much and would say no. However, for this teenage boy who went fishing with his parents, somewhere in Indonesia, did not have much of a say in that matter. The teenager named Muhammad Adol was rushed to a hospital in southwest Sulawesi after a needlefish leaped out of the water and flew in their direction, impaling itself in the unsuspecting teen's neck, narrowly missing life-giving arteries and blood vessels. Five doctors, including three surgeons and two anesthesiologists, helped to remove the needlefish snout from Muhammad's neck. They took about two hours and had to be careful so they wouldn't mess up the damage that was already done to the teenage boy's neck. Number 9. Stingray Attack when you go into the water, you better be ready for some surprises. In 2008, a Florida man found himself in a critical condition after a 5 foot wide, 30 pound stingray jumped onto his boat and stabbed him in the chest. The assault left the old man with a foot long barb in his chest and his granddaughter was obliged to guide the vessel back to his home where they tried to get some medical help. The stingray's victim was conscious when help arrived and he was in a pretty bad state, which is what you would expect from someone who literally got stabbed by a huge, supposedly peaceful creature of the sea. Number 8. Spotted Eagle Ray Attack This is yet another stingray attack, and you might be shocked to find out that it occurred in Florida as well. A female Taurus got pinned to the deck of her sightseeing boat by a 300-pound stingray, the sea creature literally hurled right out of nowhere from beneath the water and launched itself into her boat as she cruised off the Florida Keys. The 40-year-old woman was knocked down by the spotted eagle ray which literally torpedoed out of water and slammed into the middle of her chest just after she took a photo of it. Well here's your advice, don't start taking pics when you see a gigantic creature spinning out of the water. Anyways, after she stood right there to catch a photo of the eagle ray, the tourist was trapped and gasping for air under its 8 foot wide body for almost 5 minutes, while her 3 young kids were terrified and screaming at the back of the boat. Number 7. Walrus Attack In 2019, a walrus attacked and sank a Russian Navy landing boat in the Arctic Ocean, with no one getting hurt in the incident. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the female animal was protecting its calves when it targeted the craft carrying researchers to the shore of Cape Geller in the Arctic. The animal was caught by surprise because obviously they weren't expecting any humans in the Arctic. The boat did sink and members aboard were lucky to have made it out alive with all body parts intact. They steered their boat away from the defense of the walrus and her calves and made it to the shore safely. Number 6. Giant Squid Attack If you don't believe that lightning may strike twice, here it is. This time it was off in 2003, off the Portuguese island of Madeira, when French sailors taking part in the Round the World Jules Verne trophy said they came across one of the most elusive monsters of the sea, the giant squid. Several hours into their water-bound journey, one of the yachtsmen found that a giant squid 
had clamped onto the hull of his boat. These French sailors were lucky because this one giant was feeling particularly outdoorsy. It poked a tentacle thicker than a grown man's leg through a porthole and started pulling the boat really hard. Two other tentacles were blocking the rudder and there was absolutely nothing they could do to chase it away. Eventually they stopped the boat and the squid released its grip. Maybe it was annoyed with their movements, but that didn't explain what the almost mythical creature was doing so close to the surface. Number 5. Jellyfish Attack In 2009, a troll in Chinasumaro capsized off Shiba in Japan as its three-man crew was trying to haul in a net containing dozens of huge numerous jellyfish. Each of the jellyfish can weigh up to 200 kilograms, and waters around Japan had been inundated with the creatures that year. The crew of this fishing boat was thrown into the sea. When the vessel capsized, but the three men were rescued by another trawler and made it to safety. Technically, this is not a direct attack on the fishermen, and more like nature fighting back at humans for simply doing too much. Number 4. Great White Shark The Great White Shark does not need any introduction. Say what you want, but sharks, especially Great Whites, remain one of the sea's most popular and formidable residents. In 2017, a fisherman likely lived to tell the tale of how he ended up with a great white shark in the bottom of his boat. 73-year-old Terry Selwood was fishing offshore at Evans Head on the new South Wales north coast in Australia when a massive great white shark launched itself onto his boat. What is it with these sea creatures and jumping into people's boats? The man had no idea what hit him and technically what hit his boat. All he saw was the vague blur of something jumping into the boat before the shark's pectoral fin smacked him on the forearm and knocked him straight down. While bleeding out and stunned from what happened, Subwood managed to reach out for his radio and call the local marine rescue. The shark was still flapping and wriggling about on the tiny boat. Now that is one big unexpected passenger. Number 3. Mako Shark what would you say if some strange huge shark just came and took a huge bite out of your boat? You might just be screaming in terror. Your reaction would be based on shock and that is exactly what these tourists had to face while traveling across the Indian Ocean in 2019. A mako shark lashed out and bit through a vessel in the Indian Ocean as the tourist's vessel got in the way of the endangered animal's prey. The boat was afloat in waters off the French overseas territory of Maya, north of Madagascar and just off the coast of southeastern Africa. Those on board the vessel got more than they bargained for when shortly after the vessel had left the lagoon. They came across a floating carcass. It turned out the carcass they stumbled upon was a dead swordfish that had just been killed by a mako shark and the moment the shark saw the boat approaching, it felt the need to defend its prey, and what better way to defend its prey than bite the intruder. The shark opened its huge mouth and took a chunk of the boat, as one does effectively passing its message across. Number 2. Sperm Whale Attack Sperm whales are not known to be violent, however, in this clip, a sperm whale seems to be lost, and sailors try everything to get the whale back into deep water, using pipes and sounds to direct the whale towards the deeper waters. The whale seems nervous and agitated and suddenly crashes into one of the small boats and turns it over with the crew falling into the water. But the whale isn't done and flips another boat. Experts said a whale this size will not end up stranded unless it is injured or sick, hence the reason it may be aggressive in this case. No one will ever know the cause for this whale being so aggressive. Because after the crashes and collisions with the boats, the whale took off on its merry way. Number 1. Great White Shark Here is another Great White Shark story. On a whisper still January dawn, the most terrifying day of Alan Oppert's life began unremarkably with a feeling of deep calm. After entering the water for his third dive of the day, this time alone, Oppert, a 42-year-old prison officer, began his descent. The process, as always, involved the release of air from inside his buoyancy vest to enable heavy weights strapped to his hips 
to drag him from the surface to the ocean floor. But this time it didn't quite make it. The torpedo shaped bulk of a huge great white shark inside the crater below loomed into view. And in the nanosecond that followed, Oppert registered both the animal's curious demeanor, like a dog on a scent, and a firm belief that his life would not end there. An uncannily cool head gave Oppert the present of mind to reinflate his buoyancy vest, preventing further descent. Considering that great white sharks have been clocked swimming 13 meters a second, it is no surprise that the impact of the strike instantly pulled Oppert's face mask down around his neck. That brings us to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment below. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video.